A lot of research has been put into this video so that you'll have a great understanding of CSST gas pipe. So after you're done watching this, you'll know exactly what it is, where it came from, and how it compares to black iron pipe for delivering gas. So the first thing you need to know is that CSST stands for corrugated stainless steel tubing. And it's basically a stainless steel flexible pipe that delivers uh, gas supply and propane. And it's intended for above ground use only and only indoors. So CSST should not be confused with flexible gas appliance connectors and I often see people confusing the two. So the appliance connectors are just used to connect your gas supply line which is behind the wall to a movable appliance like a stove that might roll. So they're not the same thing. And uh, a great way to understand CSST uh, to try and think about it, it's kind of like PEX versus copper because CSST has proven itself to be a reliable alternative to black iron pipe much like PEX has been to copper um, when supplying water. So just a quick backstory on where CSST came from. It was invented in Japan in the 1980s and that's because uh, black iron pipe was the main way to deliver gas to homes but Japan suffers from a lot of earthquakes and if you know anything about plate tectonics you'll know that Japan is situated on a complicated plate boundary so they have a ton of earthquakes and they basically shook the foundation and caused tons of leak in black iron pipe. So the answer was uh, CSST, they developed it and it was just a way to work around black iron pipe because when they had earthquakes the CSST didn't leak. So contractors and manufacturers in America saw that there's alternative uses for this uh, instead of just earthquakes. So manufacturing in America has picked up a ton since the 90s. So obviously every home has gas supply lines in the walls so historically it's been black iron pipe that's been used. So the question is what is the difference between black iron pipe and CSST, so I just want to go over the pros and cons. So probably the best thing about black iron pipe is that it's been around forever, so we kind of know the upsides and downsides of it. And people have been installing this forever, so they're very comfortable with installing it. And when they see a new system like CSST, they might not think it's necessary because they know how to install this and they know that it works. So you, if you don't have to learn a new system, then that seems okay to them. And right now, black iron pipe is more cost effective per foot, but I'll discuss the labor costs later because when you compare the two, it might not be more cost effective, but I'll discuss that later. And lastly, the thing with black iron pipe is that it's very sturdy. So when you're holding it in your hands, it just kind of seems more reassuring since it's just, it's heavier and more sturdy. So people have more confidence in that. So another downside of black iron is that if this is installed in an environment where there's moisture in the air, it'll corrode over time. And that's going to happen with the inner walls just thinning. And obviously this is going to cause leaks if you give it enough time. And I mentioned before that the sturdiness and heaviness of this is an upside. But if you just consider carrying this to your work site, it's a lot harder than carrying CSST because this is 25 feet of CSST and it's very light. So usually black iron pipe needs some heavy machinery to cut and thread. You can sometimes get away with using just a handheld tool if you're doing a small installation. But if you're a professional and you're installing, you probably need a big threading machine. And like I said before, black iron pipe has been around forever. So there's a bunch of manufacturers with very reliable machines, like Rigid, for example. I've talked to one contractor who's had his threading machine for over 40 years and it still works. But if you're a new contractor and you're looking to get into the business, maybe CSST will work because you can avoid the cost of buying one of those new machines, which costs at least $2,500 and all the way up to a grand. So now I want to cover CSST a little bit. So no special machinery is needed to cut or thread this. All you need is your standard pipe cutters and a wrench or pliers for tightening the fittings and a utility knife for peeling back this jacket to put on the fitting. And another great thing is that very little fittings for this are actually needed because all you have to do is put them at the end of your runs. And that means less chances for leaks, obviously and it's always very reliable. And I've already mentioned a little, but another obvious upside is that this is flexible, so you can just easily snake this through your joists and uh, through your walls. So I mentioned it a little bit before, but some people argue that CSST lacks the pricing advantage over black iron pipe, but when you consider the amount of fittings that you need with this, I think that the cost of installing this probably exceeds CSST. But it really depends on the installation. You'll have to make that judgment for yourself. According to the Gas Research Institute, using CSST instead of black pipe can reduce labor alone by as much as 65%. So if you're a contractor, you know the importance of balancing multiple jobs at the same time. So the fact that this can be installed more quickly can be very valuable to you. Another thing I want to point out that's not often referenced online 
is that you don't need um, hanging supports with CSST. Because if you know, if you're installing black iron pipe, you need a lot of pipe hangers. So pipe hangers that you'll often see are clevis hangers, riser clamps, strut clamps, or other support to keep the pipe in place. And these are not needed with CSST pipe at all, since it's so light. Last point I want to make about the difference between these two is that black iron pipe is usually imported and there's a bunch of companies in America that make CSST and one is ProFlex and these are always 100% uh, factory tested. The biggest debate about CSST piping is whether or not it's resistant to lightning and that debate exists because the first generation of CSST was a yellow coated pipe and it's completely different than this one and the problem that happened with that is that it wasn't arc resistant and it wasn't required to be grounded. So what happened was one person's house who had the first generation installed was struck by lightning and the pipe started to leak gas and it just caught fire. So this caused a huge problem and it actually created the second generation of CSST. So most manufacturers have already phased out the first generation of CSST and now the second generation has this arc resistant coating on it and it's uh, required to be grounded. So it eliminates the lightning problem. And I should point it out, but it's, it's pretty obvious, but there's no gas pipe on the market, including uh, black iron, CSST, or copper, that's perfectly resistant to lightning because lightning is just an incredibly strong force and no one can really create something that can be perfectly resistant to it. National Fire Protection Association reports an average of 375,000 fires annually to residential buildings. And out of these, only 160 are attributed to lightning caused fires started from gas piping or approximately 0.04%, which is also one in 2,500. So this number involves all types of gas pipe. In the United States, about 300,000 new and remodeled homes per year have CSST installed. That number is about half of the number of new homes built each year that use gas for heating and cooking. CSST is approved for use as a gas piping material in all national model building codes, including the National Fuel Gas Code, the International Fuel Gas Code, and the Uniform Plumbing Code and is approved for use in all 50 states. I also wanna add that US building codes currently require direct bonding of CSST, so that's important to know. You should also check your local codes to make sure you have everything in order before you install this. And if you subscribe to the channel, we're gonna come out with another video where I explain all the different types of fittings and appliances you can purchase with installing uh, CSST to make your install go perfect. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, and that's it. <laughs>